Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy, and in today's lesson we're going to be looking at the classic song Fly Me to the Moon. We're doing this in three different ways for beginner, intermediate and advanced levels. First of all, we're going to be playing this song just as it's standardly found, for example, like in a real book, with no changes to the rhythm, no decorated notes. We're just going to play the tune carefully through at a nice steady tempo. Then in the second version, we're going to be playing it in a bossa nova style, a little bit faster at 140 BPM. I've also started to push and pull the melody around and introduce some decoration so you can see how you can transform the original melody into something more unique when you're playing it. I've also included a 16 bar uh, improvised solo, which I've transcribed, uh, which you can either play along with or you can put your own solo in the backing track version. And in the third version, we're going up a little bit faster again to 100 160 BPM, going back to the swing style, and this time I've done a full chorus of solo which I've transcribed, and again you can learn that set solo or you can put your own improvisation in there. I've also adapted that melody again, pushed and pulled some things around, added some more decoration, and you can see what's going on with that as well. Down in the description below there's a link to the PDF of these three different versions of the song so you can print them out and use them at home. And if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons. Now if any of these versions feel a bit fast at first when you're starting to play them uh, have a go at using YouTube's playback speed settings to slow it down to whatever speed you feel comfortable with and then you can gradually speed it up as you get more confident. At the end of this video I'll leave all three versions done as a backing track where there's no saxophone leaving you free to either do your own improvised solos or just to play those set solos but all by yourself. So here's version one, just the melody as you'd find it in a real book with no alterations or decorations. Okay, so time for version two, a little bit faster in the bossa nova straight eight style.
Okay, and here's version three, a little bit faster and with that full chorus of solo. Those of you that are more advanced with improvising, you can have a look through at the example solo and take out some ideas from there and see how the notes relate to the chord above. Okay, here are those backing track versions. Remember you can use the timestamps below to skip to any particular one that you want to practice with.
Okay, that's it for this week, guys. As ever, let me know how you got on. Leave any comments you may have about saxophone playing in general, and I'll see you next week.